What's up, astronomy folks? Mr. Bowsey here. Um, we're going to go over the uh, questions from the target question on Friday, which was uh, watch the video of Apollo 13 launch sequence from the movie Apollo 13. Great movie, by the way. You should watch it. And just identify an example of each of the three laws. And, and there were many examples um, that you could have picked from and you could have correctly identified. But I'm going to go through some of the big ones. Okay, so the first law, law of inertia, for me, the best example of the law of inertia um, was uh, this scene right here. We're going to just go ahead and go to this really fast and watch it. This is at the very end of the clip, so uh, some of you might not have made it this far, but uh, they are currently in space. They still got their initial rocket booster that uh, launched them into space uh, going, and they're about to turn that one off and start another one. So here we go. So, jolt, and the next booster ignites, boom, all right, there you go, inertia. So, I don't know what that is, go away, it's got the rock, I like rocks. Um, so, going back to this here, so, so the law of inertia says basically an object's going to remain at rest until some force acts on it, or an object is going to remain in motion until some force acts on it. So um you saw that jolt and we've all experienced inertia before if you've ever driven in a car with uh somebody that drives too fast or 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 stops too suddenly or turns too fast um your body wants to continue going in the motion it was going and then um the the car turns or the car stops and then it applies a force that's that stops that motion um a lot of you said for the first law your example was the rocket was sitting on the launch pad because uh, there was nothing to change it from being at rest. And then that was absolutely correct until the rockets turned on. All right, so F equals MA, law two, the force law. They had to have a tremendous force, right? In order to accelerate the really large mass of that rocket. So most of the mass of a rocket is really the fuel um, so that they can get enough force to prepare propel them up into space. So uh, most of you guys said that for the law number two, and I'm totally cool with that. And then the third law, action reaction. This one is uh, usually the, the event is correctly identified, but the explanation as to how it works is misinterpreted a little bit. So let's go back to the, the launch sequence here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom into this spot right here. Let's watch just a second here. All right, here we go. All that, that's ice falling off the sides of the rockets. We'll talk about that in a second. Here we go. Lift off, okay. So in this particular moment, I, uh, what's important to understand is that there's combustion, right? First of all, the fuel for NASA and the fuel for rockets is hydrogen, okay? Hydrogen gas. And in order to have hydrogen stored in that rocket, they have to keep it a liquid. And in order to keep hydrogen a liquid, they have to keep it super, super cold. And that's why you saw ice on the outside of the rockets falling off when it started to move. Um, so anyways, when hydrogen reacts with oxygen, it's combustion, right? And it burns and it creates a lot of heat, a lot of energy. It also creates water. So all that cloud stuff you see come out from the bottom, that actually is a cloud, right? That's not pollution. It's going to be water vapor in the air. Um, but what, what actually causes the rocket to move is the rapid expansion of the gases coming out of the bottom of the rocket, right? That combustion is going to create a lot of heat. Hydrogen as a gas is really, really, really small, right? But when it get, I'm sorry, hydrogen is a liquid, the volume is really, really small. But when it burns, it turns into a gas. Gases take up way more space than liquids do, about a thousand times the space, all right? So that space, it has to go somewhere. So the gases have to move. They have to get out of there because there's just not enough space. So they rapidly expel downward. That is your action. The reaction is the rocket going up. Okay, there you go. It's been fun. I'm gonna stop recording here in a second. There we go.